Hi and welcome back to the ErgoDox assembly. In this video I'm going to solder the Teensy. I'll demonstrate how to solder the Teensy. The Teensy will be going onto the right hand keyboard on the top. So the diodes are on the other side. So I'm going to start by placing um, the pins into their positions. These are just going to go onto the outer sides because the, the inner row of pins is for the um, the I.O. expander from the other board and the Teensy will go right there like that with the USB towards the inside of the PCB with the USB port here I'm going to start by soldering the pins on the top and then I'll flip it around and solder the pins on the bottom. Just uh, flip this around. Try to turn it myself. It doesn't look like they're coming through just fine. No, no, not quite actually. Just set something underneath it to try to push those up a little higher. I'm just going to get both sides, this, all, all the corners, just in case it doesn't teeter. Okay. Actually, be interesting to see. I wonder what takes longer: <clears throat> soldering the diodes or soldering the uh, the MX switches. I th uh, I think it took about an hour. Um, to do the diodes. Okay, I'm just going to inspect, make sure I've got a good connection on all of these. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Yeah, looks really good. All right. Okay, the next, the next stage is kind of interesting. Um, this part will actually need to be carefully uh, dismantled. And um, it'll be used to connect the Teensy to the USB connector that goes outside of the keyboard.
This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure what the best way to go about doing this is. I haven't actually done something like this before. This seems to be working so far. As long as I don't destroy anything. Some sort of cutting blind here, but that looks pretty good so far. more of this off. Looking pretty good so far, I'd say. See, it looks like it clamps on right there. Anyway, so um, I had considered like maybe doing this a different way. Um, I had considered actually removing the um, the the mini USB port from the Teensy, and then just uh, using wires to connect it directly. But <clears throat> there was a possibility that I could have damaged the Teensy, and I didn't really want to do that. Um, so I figured, you know, this this is a lot less risk because if I destroy this this component here, it's not really that big of a deal because I can always get another one of these, and they're pretty cheap. Probably have. A cable box somewhere with with cables like this that I could tear apart if I needed to. Plus it seemed like this is the way other people were doing it. And it's probably a good idea to maintain some consistency. I think I almost uh, I almost destroyed this thing. risky. I'm going to try to pull off the sheath without pulling the wires out. Ha ha. Cool. Cut off this extra metal here. Got a little bit of rubber there, um, but I think that's the way it's supposed to look. So we got a blue wire, a green one, and it looks like an orange one and a brown one. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that rubber is going to be a problem. I'm going to try to cut some of it off. Maybe pull it out. That's probably good enough. I don't think that's going to cause any problems. All right. Cool. So that is what that is supposed to look like. And then um, um, I'll wait until the next video to, con to continue this process. But um, this will plug in to here, to the Teensy. 
create that connection and then these wires will get soldered um, for use with the uh, external my, uh, mini, uh, yeah, mini USB connection that will go right here. So this will get mounted just like that. Oops. And then these wires will get um, soldered to these pin, uh, these pads here. So, okay. Anyway, I'll save that for the next video though. Since I'm at 11 minutes, thank you for watching and I guess you'll see my hands in the next video.